This is complete guide and tutorial of Banggood Multi Protocol for In One Radio. Okay, chapter one is an unboxing. This is the package that I received from Banggood. Basically, it's very simple package because it only consists the module, one pigtail, and and also one antenna. That's all. You will you won't get any manual or installation guide. And basically, if I'm looking for the Banggood uh, page of this product, they're also not really clear how to install this module. So the module consists of this uh, bind button in the center of the module, and this one is a rotary dial switch. So at the right, you will find the port for your Taranis pin. This is the port that will connect uh, the module into your Taranis. And this is the pigtail. You just need to attach the pigtail into the port in your module. So the pigtail will connect your module with uh, their antenna. It's really easy to install the pigtail, just push it and it will attach very firm. That's it. And after that, don't forget to install your antenna because it will improve your range. And also it will protect your module from damage because uh, over power transmit from your module if the antenna is not attached. This silver box actually your 4-in-1 protocol module. That's the core of this module. So after this, this chapter of the installation is very simple. You just need to prepare the double-sided tape. Well, yeah, as you can see, I put the double-sided tape in the back of the module. So this part will attach with, your, with the back of your Taranis. I will explain later. So, just take off the bay door of your Taranis. This is the pin that will connect through the port of your model. The, the pin is actually quite long. So you just need to make sure that the pin is fit. We have a five pin there. Just make sure you install it slowly and correctly because we don't want to bend your turnis pin. Okay, just make sure it fit and then push it gently. Okay, make sure the all the pin is slide through the uh, porthole until the end, and the back of the model will touch the back of your turnis. The double sided tab will hold the model tightly. So it won't move even if you shake your Taranis. So I think that's all for the installation. After that, we need to setting up your Taranis menu. Just read this because uh, you need to know. You need to know uh, your toy quad channel order because if you don't follow the right uh, channel order, it won't bind correctly. So uh, for this one, I will try to bind with a Ichan HH, which is the channel order is ATR. So throttle in the channel three, roll in the channel one, and pitch in the channel two. And I will have Yao in the channel four. So for ATR, I want to explain what is the conversion of ATR into the throttle roll pitch show, but you can see throttle in the channel 3, roll in channel 1, pitch in the channel 2, and uh, yaw in the channel 4. Okay, so go to the uh, page, the setting of the model, and then you just need to turn off your internal radio. We don't need that, it will consume power if you turn on the radio, and after that, you need to Enable the external radio and put it in the PPM because the whole of this installation gate is uh, we are talking about the PPM connection. And after that, you need to choose uh, how many channel that you want to use. You can 
choose uh, six until 16 channel but uh, for this one because I only use six channel to bind into the e chain because I, I can only benefit maximum six channel for the e chain okay this is the binding and testing with the e chain h8 okay turn off your e chain put it in the idle okay you need to know what is uh, your rot the correct rotary position for your protocol just make sure you choose the correct rotary position because if it's not it won't bind so after that you just have to push the bind button meanwhile you turn on your turnis just hold the button when you turn on your turnis and you will see the green light will be turned on and after that follow with the uh, red light flashing in your module just turn on your quad make it standby for the binding just hold until uh, as you can see the quad uh, light is flashing so it's binding let's try this let's try if, if it works or not okay i will try with the throttle okay push the throttle okay it works the proper spinning check the yaw check the roll check the pitch is it working correctly if there's uh, any need for reverse oh it's working properly so i think that's all this is the binding process with the ppm so after that i will talking about the serial connection but before that i just want to show you how i uh, tidy up the module installation i'm using my stock back cover taranis i just drill a hole and i slide the antenna connector through it and uh, tighten with the screw ring as you can see it's very neat you can take off your antenna if you don't want to use the module so it won't tangle with your taranis i think that's all this is the complete guide of the multi protocol tutorial so you can stop here if you don't want to use a serial connection with this module. Okay, this part is actually just additional. You don't need to do that because with PPM, your module will working flawlessly. But if you want to select your multi-protocol from the Taranis menu, you don't want to use the rotary switch, just follow this guide. So, just warning, because this mod will require a hardware mod, you need a soldering skill, and also you need to flash your Taranis with a custom uh, firmware that support a mul this multi-protocol. So, after you follow all the steps, so just use the external RX in the serial mode, you need channel uh, 1 to 16, as you can see, the channel range, and after that, just choose the protocol from the terrace menu and then enjoy it's fine thank you for watching